Welcome back to the Mass Effect European Space Agency series. This last episode will take us to the final destination of our journey. In Mass Effect Andromeda, your mission is to explore potentially habitable exoplanets and find out if one of these golden worlds is a safe harbor for humanity. Planets that are potentially habitable for human beings, of course, need to have water and more specifically, water in liquid form. Well, ideally, it would be similar to us. So it would have an atmosphere with oxygen that we can breathe. And it would have a mass that allows us to have more or less like 1G, like the same gravity that we have here on Earth. Within the Helios cluster, there are seven golden worlds to explore. A scenario not far from reality, as the recent discovery of the TRAPPIST-1 system shows. There are seven together around one star, and this of course makes it very uh, exciting to look into that specific area. But there are many, many more planets that we know of today that are actually in the habitable zone and that are rocky planets. The exoplanets discovered today are the potential golden worlds of tomorrow. That's why scientists are already investigating the technology we'll need to reach and explore those planets. As you move further beyond a low Earth orbit to the Moon and Mars and beyond, you will be very much dependent upon the own knowledge and expertise you have there, and perhaps having a, an AI or an expert system there with all the information that we've surmised on the systems here on Earth will be something very crucial. In a few years, astronauts hope to have goggles available that have multispectral vision, that not only look in the visual band, but also in the infrared, in the ultraviolet bands, and that will enable very much exploration of an unknown environment. As a first step towards exploring new worlds, ESA's Spaceship EAC project is working on solutions to establish the first research outpost on the Moon by the year 2030, with habitats 3D printed from lunar sand. It's a permanent satellite that orbits Earth. It has a number of unique advantages. It potentially may also have resources there that could be useful for fueling spacecraft. What we really want to use the moon for is kind of a testing area where we can develop the technologies and the operational concepts that we will need to survive on planetary surfaces. In Mass Effect, ESA will not stop at the moon, but also establish the first settlement on Mars. In reality, ESA's next step towards the Red Planet is the ExoMars mission. ExoMars is really geared into finding traces of exobiology. So basically finding traces of life and understanding if there was life on Mars or not is of course essential for us in order to go there. When one day we set foot on another planet and meet another life form, we will be the aliens and we will have to make sure to only represent the best of humanity. That is our true destination. I think it would be a fantastic opportunity for us to meet other life forms, to explain our culture, to explain our history, and then just to know that we're not the only species existing in the universe.